Hello everyone and welcome back here to Comic Vantage and yes it has been a while since we've been here at Comic Vantage. Oh and I have a fun 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 mailbag day episode for everyone today. The stack is coming back. I got my handy dandy little tools. I got my beautiful cup of coffee. Oh and we are oh double stacking our coffee today. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good coffee. Mmm. All right. So, let's get started. Now, to start off with today, I am sad to report I do not have a package of shame today. I don't know what's been going on with these sellers the last few months, but I haven't gotten a single package of shame, and I have enough books to do at least, I don't know, three mailbag days. So, no clue what's going on. None whatsoever. But, I do have this. Oh, what are you? Yes, this came in the mail. I'm trying to feel where the best place is to attack this thing. Oh, because it's nice. It's styrofoam. It's yellow tape. Yellow tape means one thing, that this came from China. <laughs> Whenever you see this yellow tape anywhere, it's usually from somewhere in Asia. More specifically, China. Um, that also only means one thing. Third-party transformer. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, it's going to be the best way for me to open it. Usually there's a seam, and I can just get my... Um, oh, that doesn't feel like a seam. No, no seam. Where are you, seam? Maybe on the top. This one might be a little harder to open than I thought. Let's see. Is that a... Nope. I cannot find the seam. Oh, wait a second. Are you it? Nope. That's not a seam. Well, this isn't fun. This isn't fun at all. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to see this because I actually know what this is. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <coughs> Beautiful. Oh. Now, a lot of times they send these without packaging just because they are cheaper to ship. Don't fall into that. All right. A nice little styrofoam. Oh, see, it was. A nice little styrofoam seal there. Beautiful. Maybe we'll reuse that for something. Oh, look at this. Now, I know this looks like G1 size, but it is not a G1. This is a third party masterpiece edition but g1 scale optimus prime oh look at that now i'll do a full video on this later on with the transformation and the whole nine yards but this thing is die cast in all the parts that the original g1 optimus prime was die cast in so wow this thing is heavy i'd actually like to put that on a scale and find out what that actually weighs oh he is gorgeous and we got some accessories, got like his energy axe, we got his backpack that he used for taking off, and a few other things. Oh, we got interchangeable heads. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of that, but we will get into this. Probably in another video coming up this later this week. All right. I'm just going to leave him back there. He will hang out for the episode. What do you guys think? All right, so let's get started on some of these comics. Now, this one here, this has been sitting around a long time. I have this tagged. Um, I know what this is. Coffee and a comic did a giveaway on their Instagram page, and I won it. That's right, I won this awesome, awesome comic book. Oh, look at this. He sent a little silverback coffee of Rwanda. Thanks. Enjoy coffee on us. Coffeeandacomic.com. That is really cool. I am on this medium smooth roast. Beautiful. Look at that. Mmm. See, now I should have opened this first and started my day off with this so you guys can get a review on that awesome coffee. All right. Let's see. We got pull tabs. Beautiful. I am very excited for this book. I cannot wait to show you guys what this is. 
I was so hyped when I won this. I had no idea what was happening in my life. Okay, let's see. We've got a bunch of other freebies. we got some stickers. Oh, this Venom one's really cool. I dig that. And giveaway winner! That was me. Congratulations from Coffee and a Comic. Beautiful. Okay, you guys ready for this? But chow, look at that. This is World Tree number three, I believe. The Peach Momoko one per store variant. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, if I am not mistaken, uh, this book was only... Move this a little bit. It was a $70 to $100 book at the time when I won it. I don't know if it's gone down in value. I don't know if it's gone up in value. But it's still, it's really, really amazing. That book is beautiful. Mm. Oh, so cool. I dig that. All right, what else do we got? I told you, these sellers, I don't know what's going on. Everybody's packing in Gemini, and they're packing in cardboard, and they let me, leave me nothing to make fun of. <laughs> also, guys, to give you a little heads up, if any of you out there are buying Gemini mailers, here's a little tip for you. Do not buy your Gemini mailers through eBay. Well, that's where I started buying them, and I had no idea. And if you go onto their website, and you buy the, I think it's the 75 pack, or 100 pack of Gemini mailers. Oh, is this coming from Midtown? Oh, it's in a Midtown bag. Oh, I think it was Midtown. Who knows, maybe. If you buy their Gemini mailers, you get an insert as well to pack your comic with for the exact same price as just buying the mailers themselves. So, there you go. Alright, let's see, what are you? Spirits of Vengeance Venom! Oh man, I totally forgot I bought this book. Andy Kubert cover. Do you see that? Oh man, I love this cover. When I was back in high school, when I was just a wee lad, I had... A poster of this hanging on my wall no idea where I got the poster from at the time I mean it might have been Spencer's it might have been anywhere I don't know all I know is I had it and I absolutely loved it uh, Adam and Andy Kubert actually the entire Kubert family are some of my favorite artists ever so cool man love it okay let's see I mean what is what is what's happening with you guys out there I need somebody to send me some crappy books in a crappy cereal box or something so I can make fun of it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what else we got going on. Come here, you. <clears throat> okay, let's see. That must be gentle because I see the book right there. Is that the book? I don't know. Well, I packed it inside of another mailer. Look at that. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's like one of those nesting dolls. <laughs> Ah, I love it. All right. I don't want to cut into that without knowing for sure. Let's see what we got here. There it is. And of course, there's no back and board to the book. Oh, yes, there is, but it feels really flimsy. All right. I am just going to cut you along the top. I can pull this bad boy out and stick you right there. All right, what are you? Survey says. Oh, look at that. Cheval Noir number one. I bought this specifically for the Dave Stevens cover. 
I love Dave Stevens artwork and man look at that yeah that is one hell of a cover <laughs> absolutely love it all right what else do we got man short a book. I don't know why. Let's see. What else we got here? Survey says. Okay. All right. That's a nice little cardboard insert. These little perforations though kind of make it a little flimsy, so I wouldn't use something like that. All right. Let's see what you are. Survey says. Survey says you are victory issue number one, the Roger Cruz cover. That is an absolutely beautiful book. Now, I bought this specifically because it is supposed to be a Battle Chasers number one homage cover. And that is going to become pertinent later on. It's supposed to be. I haven't, I don't know if it actually is or not, because it kind of looks like it and kind of not. So, we'll come back to that a little bit later. All right, let's see what else we got here. Next up, the only thing I can complain about this one is that he sent a media mail. Comic books are not media mail, people. All right, I know that was kind of sad, but it's the only thing I have to complain about. And, you know, the post office has now started this uh, new, they've gotten rid of first class mail. They started doing this ground advantage. It kind of blurs the lines between media mail and first class anyway. So just send yourself ground advantage. It's almost as cheap as media mail, but gets it there a little bit faster. And it gets treated better. I don't know, media mail just seems to get treated like crap. Okay. Beautiful. Get you out of here. Get this out of here. Bubble wrap, not smarter than you. Okay. See what this is. You are, survey says. Oh, you are a splatter number four. The Tim Vigil cover. Man, I've been wanting this in my collection for a long time. I love Tim Vigil artwork. I've been a huge fan of his since the 90s when I first read Faust. So, I actually got to meet Tim Vigil a few times at uh, San Diego Comic Con. He's a really awesome guy as well. Beautiful. Love. Oh, and I forgot. This one is actually signed down here. I think it's actually signed by Tim Vigil. Right there. Look at that. No certificate of authenticity, so I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I can match that. Next up. Now, I know what this is. I could just rip the whole label out, so I'm kind of open here already. Guys, this is a book I've been waiting for. It came from France. Yes, that is correct. This book came all the way from France. I had no idea this book existed until recently when I saw it. Oh, there's actually little ads in there for French toiletries. <laughs> uh, this is a Euro variant of this particular book. Like I said, I had no idea that this book existed. When I saw it, I had to have it. And this is going to come back directly to the whole Battle Chasers that I have been alluding to. Now, Battle Chasers, I don't know if you guys know this or not, it's actually come back with a new couple issues that have been out recently. So these back issues of Battle Chasers have become increasingly more sought after. 
Oh, Joe Mad artwork. Man, I love that guy. Although I don't think he's doing the artwork on the new series. Why does this book... Look at this. The Cordon Bleu. It's like shake and bake. Or is it frozen? Oh, it's totally... It's three frozen chicken Cordon Bleu. Why would they put this in the box? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, okay. That's hilarious. <clears throat> okay. I don't... I... I don't even know what to think. Oh, and the other side is Nescafe Cappuccino. Oh, also, package is all in French. I have no idea why that person did that. But hey, as long as it protects the book, right? <laughs> okay, this is the meat of it right here, though. Oh, I don't want to damage this. I can't see where I'm at. So we will cut into the cardboard, like I always tell everybody. So that way you're not slicing into the book. <clears throat> All right. Now let's get you out of there. Here we are. I said this, so oh, this is the book I've been waiting for right here. We're going to put this to the side. <clears throat> okay. What are you? You are a Battle Chasers number one Euro variant. Now, this might not look like anything special because this looks just like the U.S. cover. Except for one important thing. <laughs> uh, first off, the cover is a wraparound cover. Okay. It's also embossed. Let's see if I can get a good glare on that. Let's see that. Not really embossed in most places, just right there. But what makes this cover really special? The interior has the Another World variant. Now, for you guys out there that collect Battle Chasers or have seen this cover, this book alone is fetching about 150 bucks when you find the Another World variant. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. For an added surprise, the whole cover inside is a gatefold cover as well with the Another World variant. I mean... You just can't get any better than that. Oh, man. I, like I said, I had no idea this book existed until recently, and I had to have it. I mean, you gotta love that Red Monica cover. Oh, man, that thing is just a thing of beauty right there. Gorgeous. All right, folks. So that's that. Those are my mailbag day books. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. We have our Battle Chasers number one Euro variant. Oh, oh, oh. Splatter number four, Tim Vigil cover. Optimus Prime approved. We have Victory. Now you can kind of see where it's supposed to be a homage cover, but I think it was never uh, officially said it was a homage cover. We have Victory number one, Roger Cruz cover. Cheval Noir number one. Dave Stevens, at his finest. Spirits of Vengeance. Venom, issue number six. And then, World Tree. The one per store thank you variant, which was a, oh, a comic win for me from Coffee and a Comic. Can't believe I won that book. Shocking. All right, I'm going to take a look and see what number this actually is. Like I said, I pretty sure it is a number no issue number one world tree number one the momoko one per store variant my mistake all right let me stick some new tape on that i really need to rebag and board all these books some of them i mean this one here look at this board it's yellow like it's been in there since it originally came out all right, so that's that. This is everything. Let me readjust here so you guys can get a better look at some of the stuff. These are my books for the day. Oh, and I can't forget, I had an awesome bag of coffee. Beautiful. I'm going to make this tomorrow morning.
Love it. All right, guys, that's it. That's everything. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna get back to making more videos again. I promise you guys, this is gonna this is gonna, this is gonna be the first of many to come. Like always, if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you're a channel member, I love you to death. You're amazing. And if you're not subbed to the channel, hit the little CV right there. It doesn't cost anything. And make sure you like and, you know, leave me comments down below. I love talking to people about comic books. So, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching and take it easy.